Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business coming at you with another QuickBooks point of sale video. Hope this one opens your eyes to a uh, problem some people are having. Maybe got a solution here for you. Today we're gonna talk about having two shifts in your store where you uh, want your employee to count the drawer at the end of the first shift and make their cash drop and then at the end of the second shift, you also want to count the drawer. So you want each employee or each shift to be responsible for their own drawer for their shift. Um, some people like this because, you know, it keeps people a little more accountable instead of the closer at the end of the day coming up with a problem. And the problem happened when they weren't even working in the early shift. And so we're going to go through it real quick. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link below. Jump over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions about errors or training or request a video. And uh, people such as myself and other community members will answer your questions. Otherwise, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe so you get all our latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos. Let's do it real quick. I'm going to probably in fast forward make a number of sales that are going to represent the morning shift. And so we'll do that right now. All right, so I ran through four sales. Two of them were cash and two of them were credit. And I'll show you that right here, uh, I actually have uh, the time column turned on, turned on as well because that's kind of important here. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But otherwise I have these four sales. Let me close this. Uh, two are cash. To our credit, uh, since I'm pretending to count out the drawer, I'm going to want to know how much extra cash is supposed to be in there. So that's going to be 1284 plus uh, 6428. Uh, you wouldn't normally do this. Normally, you'd be counting the cash drawer and it would come out with the particular amount. So the first shift has ended. And now we are going to count the drawer for the first shift. And so we would hit the end of day button. <clears throat> now you'll notice that I have this set for custom. By default, this is normally on today, which is how you would have it set if you're just counting the drawer for the entire day. But we want to have it on custom because we're counting two different drawers today. So I'm going to hit start. We're on Z out drawer count. Now it's 911. Nope, it's not. It's 912. <laughs> so make sure this is on today. And this should start at, you know, 12 a.m. really. And actually, you know, it doesn't really matter how far this goes. It, it can go to 11.59 p.m. because really we're just looking for everything so far today. Because this is the first shift, there's not going to be anything else going on yet today. So 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. for today. We hit OK. I should have, if I want to, I could count the drawer with all the different denominations, but really since I started the day with $200, it should come out to $277.12. I'm gonna leave $200 in the drawer for the next shift, and I should take $77.12 out of the drawer, and I should wrap the Z out report around it and put it in the bank bag or the vault in the back, whatever you do with your, your bank drops. And if there's anything funny going on, I can leave a remark. So that is the first shift and the first drawer. This is going to send the info over to QuickBooks. Hopefully it doesn't take very long. So here we can see all of the statistics from the first drawer, along with my two credit card listings and, you know, appears cash, deposit, etc. And that is how the first shift finishes. Now, I'm quickly going to make some sales for the second shift. All right, I'm done making sales for the rest of the day as if it were the second shift. We can look in my sales history and we can see that 
uh, the second shift starting later. Uh, my, my first shift apparently ended at 931. I, I mean, we're just pretending here, right? And then this, these four at the top are my second shift. I'm going to want to know how much should be in the drawer. Like I said, you, you don't have to do that because you should just be counting your drawer. But since I'm in make-believe land, uh, I want to know how much extra is going to be there. All right. So the second shift, I can say that shift change started at 9.33. Obviously, in your store, shift change probably happens at like 3 o'clock or 1 o'clock or something. And so um, the, the person on the second shift will just want to be aware of what sales were on the first shift's drawer. And so like if the first shift person went over three o'clock a little bit, maybe they made a sale at 305 or something like that and then they counted the drawer, you just, they wanna be aware of that. And so you're gonna to have to teach your employee to understand and maybe, maybe you're using different cashier logins so that might help so they can just look at when uh, the first uh, sale happened for the second cashier and they can adjust the time accordingly. But I'm going to say that shift ha shift change happened at 9.33 here. So I'm going to do an end of day. It's going to be on Z out drawer count and custom. And I'm going to hit start and I'm going to say now that I am counting from 9.33 a.m. to the rest of the day, right? And so this is going to be the second drawer. And when I go through and I count up all the cash, I come out with 242.83 because that's what should be in there. Of course, your people are really going to count the drawer. And then I'm going to say that I deposit 4283, which means I take that out of the drawer and I'm going to wrap this second Z out report around that. And so it's like your second cashier or your employee, they have ownership of that. That's their responsibility to put that in the bank bag. If anything's wrong with that bundle and that money and the count, then that's on them because they're owning this drawer, right? And so I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do its thing for a while here. For the second drawer, uh, all of these statistics are just going to have to do with the second drawer. And we can see everything is laid out. 242.83 is the cash with the 42 drop. We have these two credit cards. And these all happened during the second shift in the second drawer. And so everything should come together nicely here and should be wrapped up for that drawer and then the final thing that the closer is going to do at the very end of the day is they will also want to do a z out store close for today for the whole day uh, i'm going to skip the exchange because that seems to be taking some of our time and if you do the z out store close now this is actually going to be an overview and is going to include everything from the entire day and so that's great. So you get a so this overview should actually equal out with a combination of drawer one and drawer two. There you have it. So we've gone through a shift change drawer count, counting the drawer for each different shift, and having your employees be responsible for their own drawer and their own shift. And there you have it. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along. Uh, on this little journey uh, with shift change drawer count and I hope you have yourself an excellent day we'll talk to you later bye Hold your dirty